Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Mifsud and I'm here to talk to you about buoyancy of solid bodies. Uh, just a few things before we get started, just so you understand what we're talking about. Um, we're trying to determine in SolidWorks whether a object will sink or float um, just, by using, just by using SolidWorks. And so basic principles here, you have an object, you have two uh, forces acting on it, buoyant force acting upwards and weights acting down. So just by buoyancy principles, if, if the buoyant force is greater than the weight, the object will float. If the buoyant force is less than the weight, the object will sink. And if the buoyant force and the weight are equal, it'll be neutrally buoyant. So looking at these forces, weight obviously is equal to the volume of the object times the density of the material of the object. And the buoyant force is equal to the volume of that object times the density of the water. Now in this case, this is uh, Archimedes' principle, so basically the volume displaced by the object times the density of the water that it's displacing <coughs> will be equal to the buoyant force, which is Arch what I said is Archimedes' principle. And uh, for, for this um, video, we're going to use salt water density just because it's a little more applicable for most cases, I would say. Um, so in this, this is the case we're going to use right here. It's going to be a cylinder with a radius of 10 inches and um, a cylinder with a height of 20 inches. So let's open it up. Start a new part. Go ahead and sketch on the top plane. So make that cylinder. The radius uh, diameter would be 20 inches if the radius was 10. Extrude it. Pretty standard cylinder right there. And uh, for this for this case, we're going to use we're going to give it a material of plastic. So I've added material to we'll do ABS plastic. ABS apply. All right. So now we've got an ABS plastic piece right here. We can, e we can easily determine how much it weighs by going to evaluate mass properties. And here's your mass. 231 pounds. So, I mean, it's a, to be fair, it's a big chunk of big chunk of plastic, 20 inches in diameter, 20 inches tall. It's a big chunk of plastic. So, 231 pounds. Let's find a place to write that. Let's get a notepad out. So we have weight is equal to 231.53 pounds. All right, so now we got that, that's nice and easy. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is start another configuration. We're gonna, we're gonna name this buoyancy. Add that configuration. Yep. So we're going to buoyancy here. And we're gonna to wanna to change in buoyancy is the material. In this case, we're gonna to wanna to make a custom material, create a new library, I'm sorry, not a new library. Create a category, custom, materials. Okay, and then we're going to want to add a new material. And we're going to call this, sorry, we're going to call this salt water. Basically all you need here, we're going to use English units. Get rid of everything you don't need. The only thing you're going to need is the density. SolidWorks might yell at you a bit, but it's not that big of a deal. So let's go back and see what we wrote put down as our density. And that's 0.0372. Alright, so we're going to apply that. Okay. Just for the hell of it, let's see if we can get that a little bit of a blue color. Close. All right, so now you've got your buoyancy model. So if we go into our configurations, go back and forth, you'll see that this one is salt water, which is our buoyancy, and our default is the ABS. So we already found the mass of the of the, buoyant, of the uh, original model. Let's pull up the buoyancy, take the mass properties of that. And we see here that the weight of the buoyancy is equal to 233.73 pounds. So, since we've determined that, we're going to go ahead and just put this down. Weight is about two pounds less than the buoyancy. Weight less than the buoyancy, this object's going to float. 
And that's real simple. Um, you can look into my next video about how to do it for complex objects.